So, according to Mike Scotto and Tony Jones, yes, the Jazz, regardless of what happens to Donovan Mitchell, they need a new center with Rudy Gobert out. A lot of you are going to be saying Walker Kessler. But you guys forget about my man from my school, the University of Kansas, Rock Chalk Jayhawk, baby, Yudoka Azimbuki. A lot, and according, shout out, first off, I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you guys agree with me? But according to Tony Jones, his sources tell him that Azimbuki has worked really hard with the coaches all summer. He's been in Salt Lake all summer. He's made a lot of strides. With that being said, guess what happened the last time coaches said that about him and sources were saying that about him? He came out and was the best player in college basketball, was the best defensive player in college basketball, was helped the Jayhawks have a historic season. Sadly, we would have won a championship that year, but the pandemic broke out. And that season and the athletic freak show that he is, that he displayed at the Combine, made him worthy of being selected in the first round two years ago with the 27th pick the you know the utah jazz what he got like a seven five seven six wingspan on a seven foot frame 250 god i love you though guys and buki and with that being said i've always Thought that Yudoka as Mbuki should get a fair shot. Felt like he never had the opportunity. And I'll admit, this might be the final opportunity Yudoka as Mbuki has to prove himself as a worthy NBA rotational or starter player. If not just a forgotten NBA player. And I'll admit, as Mbuki has gotten a rough, a rough deal as a pro which might be unfair because think about this i believe somebody wrote on the athletic that they should have drafted jaden mcdaniels or that is in bain with that pick that became as a book and everyone knows that doing that not drafting a player like jaden mcdaniels or desmond bain kind of led to their demise it was a big mistake as in Buki had literally no opportunity to play because of rudy gobert playing the same position and you know what's worse is that Azimbuki has de displayed since college serious durability issues with multiple significant injuries that seem like it might have halted his, prog his progress. And we don't know if the Jazz will pick up his fourth year team option with, I think, like a month out. He's only in his third season because he came out, what, my sophomore year? Well, it was his first year. Junior year was last year. It was his second year. Yeah. It's going to his third year now. And with him being basically the only center on the roster with experience, with Jared Vanderbilt being able to play small ball five, Walker Kessler, the only other center, he has a chance to be there. Because, like, on paper, he's he seems worthy as a first-round pick. Like, he's got to be a good defender, a rim protector. Obviously his best play has been when he's in the best physical shape and he's got to develop into a lob threat and a rim runner who can rebound good and if he gets passed up by walker kessler that basically means as is a bust or I, I guess i've talked about this before you're not a bust if you draft it after 15 or after 14. After, outside the lottery you can't call a player a bust because it's just a toss-up so he's just the pick didn't work out but like I said, the sources say that Azimbuki has worked out extremely hard this summer, staying in Salt Lake City and working out in the facility with the coaching staff. And obviously he's someone with, like, is a pure physical specimen. And he hasn't put it all together and this is the third year. So if he goes into the season healthy and in shape and the circumstances are put in place for him to have a great season. So I want to hear your thoughts down below. Do you think Azimbuki will be decent?